welfare rats mock taxpayers, shock nation with what they pull out of pocket in restaurant. A shocking video is going viral after a few welfare rats decided to go out for a bite to eat. Unfortunately, things would take a turn as they actively began to mock U.S. taxpayers with what they pulled out of their pocket at a restaurant, and it was all caught on video, leaving viewers downright shocked and disgusted. There's no load that's too low when it comes to liberals and their entitlement mentality. Proving that repeatedly, the left knows no bounds when it comes to what they will demand from the hard-working taxpayers who foot the bill. Demonstrating this the most are the welfare rats who live on the system, abusing it in any way they can. These are not the people whom government programs were designed to help. We're talking about the able-bodied people who don't need it but still leech from the government because they'd rather do that than get a job. Every day, taxpayers get up, go to work, and put in an effort to earn a paycheck. Then, a portion of their hard-earned money is taken by the government and handed to these freeloaders. Of course, it's not fair, but seeing how Democrats depend on these programs in order to keep people voting for them, it likely won't go away anytime soon. Fortunately, President Donald Trump is now in office and has at least begun talking about things like welfare reform, which means big changes could be coming, according to Washington Examiner. Even better yet, idiots like the ones recently seen starring in a now viral video won't be laughing anymore. As it turns out, a group of welfare rats headed out to a local IOP for a bite to eat. However, when it came time for the check, the entitled brats thought it would be funny to try to use their food stamp card to pay for the meal. It's very likely that these freeloading females knew that EBT cards don't pay for hot food or food eaten in a restaurant since food stamps are not for going out to eat with family and friends. What it is for, though, is to help families, mainly those with children, survive if they don't make enough money to afford everything they absolutely need to keep themselves adequately nourished. Sadly, these idiots decided to mock the very taxpayers who get their hard-earned money taken from them so it can be put on that EBT card by making a joke out of trying to spend it in a way that is not acceptable. Truth be old, it's not funny, and secondly, that's not what the card is for. But, most importantly, I don't see a reason these internet sensations couldn't go out and get a job. They made it to the restaurant just fine. Maybe they should put in an application. Quite frankly, one has to wonder why this woman even has a card. First of all, if she has extra money to go out and eat, clearly things aren't quite that tight at her house. Along with that, several commenters have pointed out that the woman is obese, meaning that she's clearly had more than enough to eat for quite some time, and she doesn't appear to have gone hungry any time in the recent past. These freeloaders may be having their fun now but I doubt those smug grins will be on their faces by the time President Trump gets through with the likes of them. There is absolutely no excuse for this kind of behavior, yet it runs rampant throughout a portion of society that's only grown over Barack Obama's two terms as president. Mad World News has reported on a few other instances of this nature, including a woman who fed her dog lobster which she bought with food stamps. There was also another instance where a woman ran out and immediately spent the extra $600 that was accidentally placed on her EBT card rather than calling social services to have the mistake corrected. Freeloaders are going to have an increasingly harder time taking advantage of the system with Trump around. With the president tightening loopholes everywhere, it's only a matter of time before the free ride comes to a screeching halt for leeching liberals like these. They don't need to worry, though. Since he's creating jobs too, which they appear more than capable of filling unless they'd rather go hungry. I can't wait until the gravy train collides with the Trump train, making America great again. Again.